Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to yet another Abercrombie try on haul. <laughs> I am continually so excited for all the new spring and summer stuff Abercrombie is pushing out. I used to be a fan of their like winter things. I mean, I'm a fan of them in general, let's just be real. But they are killing it for their like spring and summer and I am all about the color. I'm so excited for warmer weather, so. Let's get into it. As always, everything I mentioned will be linked in the description box down below. I picked up I think 11 pieces and I'm going to be styling in them, styling them into I think 18 or 19 different outfits. Anyways, all the details, everything that Abercrombie, um, I purchased from Abercrombie sizing and all that will be listed down below as well as any extras that I show in the video with links. So if you are interested, it's easy for you guys to pick anything up. So like always, also sound up in the comments down below what should stay, what should go. I'm obviously going to give my opinions, but I love when you guys give me yours. So let's get into it. I picked up a ton of dresses this haul. I actually didn't pick up any jeans or any denim at all. I picked up one pair of shorts, but any denim. I picked up a ton of dresses and yeah, that's just the epitome of spring for me. So the first dress that I grabbed, I fell in love with this print and okay, so You'll see from the try on, this is beautiful. I absolutely love everything about this, except for I feel like I don't have enough hips to fill it out, to be honest with you. And I feel like it's gonna be the case for a lot of people. So if you're interested in this dress, I do recommend sizing down. I went true to size, um, I went with a small. I would say that it has some room in the back as well as obviously in the hips. I'm wondering if I size to an extra small, if that like extra fabric in the hips would kind of go away. But if you're a curvy girl, this dress is beautiful. It's stunning. Um, it is like double lined and it has a zipper to get in and out of the back, but it's also got the bungee, which is why again, I think you could size down and not have any issues with it. It's got like a faux like corset top, but it's not like in your face corset. I love this. I love the slit. I love that you can dress it up. You can dress it down. Um, it just, obviously the hip area did not fit for me. So I'm going to try it in an extra small and hopefully I'll report back if it works well and like you don't have the extra hip issue, but that's the only thing this dress comes in other different colors, but I love, you'll see. i found my new favorite color, which is pink. I don't know why, I've never loved pink before, but I do now in this dress. Yeah, beautiful, so, so pretty, absolutely love that. Okay, this next dress, sadly, while I was getting links for this video, realized that this color is sold out, but that doesn't mean that it won't come back. Abercrombie is notorious for bringing back things. That is one thing I absolutely love and continue to shop at Abercrombie for is because there's continual stock. Like they don't have issues where if something's popular, it just sells out and you can never get it back. Um, I absolutely love that. Abercrombie's always been that way. So yeah, if you like it, odds are it's gonna come back or it'll come in a different color or something. Um, but this is the most beautiful, like, it's a midi dress, it's not fully a maxi dress. Now, I got this again in a small. If I wear it on top of my shoulders, no issue at all. Think I, I actually like the fact that it's looser because it's just so freaking comfortable. But if you wanna dare, like wear it off the shoulders a little bit, I would go down a size just so that it fits a little tighter around the breast area. I didn't wear a bra either with it and you probably could, which would give you some more like, the shelf, I guess, for it to do what it's supposed to do if you want to wear it off the shoulders. But I love this dress. I love the two tier ruffle sleeves. I love the, it's kind of got a V neck, but it also has this like tapered downward V at the breast. It's so beautiful. It's tiered. I had no idea I would love this dress as much as I do. I believe they still do have it in white and black run. Like, honestly, I don't think this dress is going to last on their site. I hope they continue to bring it back. This pink is absolutely stunning for a baby shower. If you're pregnant, whatever the case may be, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love this. It just makes me want to go prance around and look like a big old piece of bubble gum. But I love, 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 love this dress. You obviously can make it more casual or you can dress it up with heels, wedges, whatever. Um, I went with wedges just because I feel like it's more of like a casual sort of dress, but so, so pretty, absolutely stunning. And I love this color pink. It's not too hot pink, but it's not a baby pink. 
It's somewhere in between and it's absolutely beautiful. Obsessed. Okay, if you guys watched my recent Shein haul, um, then you saw I picked up a blue and white dress like this one. I wanted to see if the quality was any different because I already had to reorder that Shein dress because the small was too small for me, so I had to go down, to, or too large for me, so I had to go down to an extra small. But I just wanted to see quality-wise, like, is this that much better, da da da, because I just don't know if it's like an everyday dress for me. And it's not an everyday dress for me, it's definitely a special occasion sort of dress but it's stunning. It has a beautiful sweetheart neckline. It's got the thin spaghetti straps that are adjustable. One thing I will say is the quality on the straps is kind of like iffy, but you could cut it down. It is sewn, so it's not gonna ravel anymore, but I just wish that they had sewed that edge so it looks nicer, because it is a, how much? I don't know how expensive this dress is because it doesn't say, but um, it's beautiful. It's like a faux silk blue and white. It's got a beautiful slit. It's very fitted. I could size down, but I wouldn't size down just so that I'm comfortable and can fully breathe. But if you want this to be like, like really, really snatching in the waist, go ahead and size down one. But overall, it's beautiful. Now I just need to know, should I just keep the Shein one or should I keep this one? Obviously the quality is so much better. It is double lined. Um, not see-through at all. It's really pretty. I love blue and white. It's, I'm, I'm a sucker for it. And I love the shape of that dress. I have that shape of dress in a, um, like hunter green sort of color that's beautiful for like a fall wedding, but this would be beautiful for a spring summer wedding. Um, this next dress that I got, I already own this in another color and I feel like they blew up because of this dress, honestly, and their jeans. Uh, or re blew up because of this dress and their jeans. But this is their traveler dress. I love the little like double strap detail situation. It is a full bodysuit underneath this little like fleshy dress. A lot of people say to size down in this. I don't. Honestly, I already feel like it's very short. So if you are concerned about length, you should go up to a tall. Um, I would not size down. I don't know why people say to size down. I don't think it's too tight or anything like that at all, or too loose or anything like that at all. If anything, there's a little gaping at the chest, but it's nothing like noticeable. And that's just because I don't wear a bra and don't fill it all the way out. But nonetheless, I think it's beautiful. I got this in the black specifically. I have the green, um, but it shows sweat really easily. So I don't like to wear that if I'm like actually sweating because I sweat like under here <laughs> really badly <laughs> when I'm doing outdoor activities. So I wanted just a plain black one. It would go with more things and um, it wouldn't show sweat as much as the green one, but super cute, great for golfing, tennis, walks I like to, running errands. I don't necessarily, I would not wear this to the gym personally, but you could. Uh, it's just so cute. The material is very like fleshy. It does, the sweat does go away quickly. So yeah, I don't know, I love this dress. You can, like I said, wear it as more of like a full outfit or do just a very casual walking sort of look. So cute. If you do not have it, you need it. And they have just so many different colors to pick from, but I just wanted a plain black one. Okay, so it looks as though Abercrombie has come out with a new workout line and it's actually called YPB, which is your personal best. So when they came up with this collection, I figured, oh, maybe it's like, I don't know, good. <laughs> I worked for Abercrombie when they came out with ANF Sport, I want to say it was called, and they did like an activewear line, and they've done activewear, dabbled in it, but more of like an athleisure line where this looks like it's actually meant for like working out. Eh, I don't know. Okay, so first things first, the logo, I love this top. It's got the buttons on it, super cute, removable cup pads. Um, it doesn't have like a shelf bra, but I felt secure in it. Secure enough, I guess. Um, depends how tight you get it and whatnot, and how many buttons you button up. The logo is this kind of like rubberized print, which is going to melt off and like peel off. So uh, I would imagine it would. In my experience, that's what happens with this sort of print, but it is really pretty. It's interesting. It doesn't say Abercrombie on it really at all. So I wonder if they're like doing it as its own line. So I'd be curious to see what else they come out with. I love this scuba sort of tank top cute um and I bought the matching like biker shorts with it honestly not overly impressed with these biker shorts uh they're very similar to like a lululemon wonder under not quite an align because they're more thicker 
than in a line, but I don't like how they just have like zero sort of um, shape to the seams at all. If anything, if it was just like a little bit more curved, it would just give you more of like a shape and look, I don't know, more flattering personally. They're really soft. They are really compressive. They do not have a top seam. They do have a small little pocket with mesh inside for, you know, your key or whatever the case may be. Um, I don't know. I like it, but I don't know. One thing that I do really love though about their activewear is they have thought through this. So they brought like, um, the label is like, what do I want to say? Heat press on and the tag is a tearaway tag. I hate when activewear is not a tearaway tag. It's just like, come on. I don't want to cut out a tag and then have it lay there. So it is a tearaway tag. So nice touches with that. Overall, just wish that the pants had more of like a butterfly seam, if you know what I mean with that, but overall good length and nice quality. So I'm excited to see what else comes out from that line to see if there's any other um, winners. All right, sticking with the pink theme, I grabbed this little pink polo tank top situation. It totally reminds me of like the 90s. I love it, so preppy. It's a sweater, which is beautiful. It's a perfect spring-like transition piece, I feel like you can. You can obviously dress it super casual. I would probably just wear it with jeans, to be honest with you. Um, it would look good with dark jeans, like a medium wash jean, tucked in, left out. Um, it's just so preppy love this like absolutely love this it did have some iffy reviews you do have to wear like a clip in the back if you're going to wear a bra with it because it does have like high um shoulder situations but no issues i didn't have any issues with it at all i thought it was super cute it's cropped but it still does tuck into high-waisted jeans so absolutely love this top and think this again pink obviously my color this spring and summer. It wouldn't be an Abercrombie haul if I didn't get a graphic tee because you guys know I love graphic tees. I feel like they're just so versatile. I just, if you don't know what to wear, throw on a graphic tee. And I love that they're coming in super, like the band tees are coming back in. I had so many Abercrombie band tees uh, back in the day and I'm excited that they've come out with more and they're a little more oversized, which I love. So this is an oversized one. I did get this in an extra small just because I didn't want it too oversized. It's a Led Zeppelin one. Um, I love the color of this. It's like an orange and pink. So pretty, pair it with shorts, pair it with um, jeans. It's just a really cute and at first effortless look. Um, and I love the bright colors of this one because I feel like most BNTs are kind of neutral. It's hard to find like pops of color in it. So that one's super cute, very thick material, very, very, very soft. So absolutely love that. Okay, this is super cute. Baby tees I feel like are coming back and I like them. I actually have a ton from when I used to work at Abercrombie still and I just have not gotten rid of them. But this is more of a, they call it an elevated one and I was gonna say it's elevated. It is a sweater baby tee, so pretty. Love this sort of um, light green, almost minty sort of color. It's beautiful. The shape of this is really nice. It's cropped again, just like that polo shirt, but does still tuck in. Um, you can tuck this into a skirt for more of a dressy look with some heels as like a night out sort of thing, or not a night out, but like a dinner-ish in the springtime. And then um, you can also wear it really casual with a pair of jeans. Super cute, really nice quality, and absolutely love this color for spring as well. Y'all know I love button downs. I love me a good button down, and I have a ton of them, but I do not have a cropped boxy button down and that's exactly what this is i thought it was really cute i love this crisp baby blue so pretty so fresh for spring um goes with like every color i yeah i love it so this like i said it's a boxy fit so it's very wide but it's cropped but doesn't show stomach and i like wearing like an oversized boxy top with a pair of just skinny jeans i feel like it kind of balances the look out um and yeah it's just really cute I do actually really enjoy this they have it in a green like color blocking situation as well that's really pretty but I do like just the basic light blue and yeah cute cute piece all right these next this next piece I'm like eh, on the fence about I love the like a uh, flat lace seam in the front it does have some spandex in the back they're not too short I think it's the color that gets me um, or the pattern that gets me. It's really pretty and I do really like it paired with the blue button up, that boxy blue button up because it does have some blue flowers in it. Um, I also paired it with a bodysuit and a denim jacket, which was really cute as well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to keep them though. I just don't know if they're like my 
like go-to. They do have them as a set. I feel like the set was not a set when I first bought them, um, but now they have a top. So if you're curious and you do like the print, they do have a matching like set top to them and that's what they're intended for. Um, but they just show wrinkle. I already seen them and they already show wrinkles really, really easy. They are double lined um, and there are other colors and whatnot, but overall, I don't know. Eh, I don't know about these guys, but that is everything that I picked up. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how I styled them in different ways. I like to style them in many different ways just so that I know I've gotten my money's worth. Like it's going to fit in my wardrobe. I can style it more than one way because there is nothing worse than buying something and like having to buy more pieces to go with one piece. You know what I mean? Yeah, I don't like that. So I love all these pieces. Like I said, if you are curious to shop any of the pieces that I mentioned down below or any of the looks that I showed in this video, everything will be linked down below for ease and convenience. If you guys like seeing these type of videos, let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up and letting me know in the comments down below. What other brands do you wanna see? Um, I love you guys so much. I'm so excited to bring more spring and summer to my channel from Abercrombie and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye you guys. <laughs>